Hi, my name is Kevin Lee, and I'm from the Francis Farm Martial Arts Academy. Today, I will show you guys a few training tips that I, that I do at the Academy that will incorporate Wing Chun training into the focus mitts. So, I'm gonna borrow my assistant here. For the first position, what I do is I'm gonna strike from the left high position. As I hold the pads, I'm gonna put one pad here next to my shoulder. The other pad's coming down diagonally from the left into the body. So what Mike's gonna do, he's gonna go what we call the build up position. The hand position here is gonna strike, the other hand covers. We'll call this build up. One defense, one attack. So this simulates a simultaneous defending and attack. So one more time. So starting from beginning positions, we put left side forward. I'm gonna put one pad next to my shoulder as my left hand strikes. And Mike's gonna strike with the build up. If we were to change the angle right here, he would do the same thing. That's number one. I can then bring my hands back to the position, neutral position first, and then I swing the same thing to my right, and Mike will do the same thing. Again, number one, highline build up. I bring the pass back to the center first. Two, highline build up on the left and right, okay? Now from here, we can follow single strikes. So if I follow first strike here, I let this hand come down and wage. You'll notice that he's controlling my center line. I then hold on my right pad, he steps in and follows single shot. That's number one. Number two, I then switch my hand on the forearm. I move my body diagonal back, he strikes. I then move back again, he follows up. When I follow, finally finish here, I take my two hands here. You see my double pads? When I double pads up, he's gonna follow battle punch, okay? Couple of things on a battle punch, okay? My pads is gonna go between my body, sorry, my forearm and my bicep. Mine's gonna do what we call a limon choi, or the battle punch. This is a continuation on the strikes. His goal is going to strike continuously on the same spot. One, two, three, okay? That's what we're gonna do. So one more time. So the drill goes, I hand and strike, three punch, one, two, and three. And then follow a battle punch, just like that. One more time. Number one, feel that. Number two, single strike. Step in, step in, and step in. And follow three strike, boom, 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 right away. So now if we're adding a free flow, I go one high line. Three punch, one, two, three, and battle punch. Same thing on side two. One, step in, one, two, and three, and battle punch. You'll notice that at that time, we change your footwork. So one more time. Number one, he steps in, one shot. Two shots and three shots and battle punch. That's it. So that will be the Highland training for build that. So again, number one, build that number one. Number two, number three. The last single shot, boom, right there. See my hand? I make sure I hold my pad close enough for him to follow up. From here, I double up. He followed three to five shots, boom. And then that will be the end of the drill. Hi, my name is Kevin Lee, and I'm from the Francis Farm Martial Arts Academy. Today, I will show you guys a few training tips that I, that I do at the Academy that will incorporate Wing Chun training into the focus mitts. So, I'm gonna borrow my assistant here. For the first position, what I do is I'm gonna strike from the left high position.